Hello and welcome to another Three Strings Cigar Box Guitar Lesson. Uh, I'm Sean from Coda Guitar and we are continuing with our pentatonic riffs in this lesson. So I've uh, done a couple so far uh, looking at the major pentatonic and the minor pentatonic. Um, they were, you know, somewhere approaching beginner level, maybe a slightly higher. Uh, so this, this is a little bit more difficult, but um, if you can play um, either of those, then uh, you, this, this might be quite good, a good sort of transition, a um, bit of a progression. Um, so this is using the minor pentatonic scale. Uh, and like we were saying in the, the, the first one, uh, minor pentatonic uh, is really good for blues, classic rock, um, things like that it's it's got a nice sort of gritty sound to it so it works really well on slide three string guitar so um, let's tune up and we'll get straight into it so we've got low G middle D high G so if you like this lesson, uh, please consider uh, going to the site, uh, supporting the channel. You can download the score, uh, very reasonably priced. Uh, it's really useful for learning this, um, this demo. And uh, it's uh, half price for the first seven days, so just a couple of bucks. Uh, it'd be really appreciated if, uh, if you consider doing that. It would just help us um, be able to put out more, more content more frequently. Um, but getting straight on with this lesson. Um, in the first minor pentatonic one, covered the actual scale itself in a um, more, more detail. I'll just skim over it here, but uh, please have a look at that if uh, you need to. So we have on the top string on high G, we've got G, fret 3 is a B flat, fret 5 is a C, fret 7 is a D, fret 10 is an F, and the octave, which is another G, is fret 12. And we can do the same thing on the low E, uh, G string, sorry. So that's a B flat fret 3, C fret 5, D's fret 7, F is fret 10, and the octave G is fret 12. Middle D goes straight up to fret 3, which is F, G is fret 5, so that's the, the root. So that's, that's the, or the, the, the octave, whatever you want to call it. Uh, going up to B flat, fret 8, C, fret 10, and the, the octave of the open string, D, is fret 12. So you, you can practice switching between those, just, just like playing through notes on different strings, and just, you know, come up with your own riffs. So you can play um, pairs of notes, single notes, you can play melodies on one string. Or, you know, you can completely mix it up. Uh, play sort of bass lines on the, on the bottom string. So there's the scale. Um, let's have a crack at doing the demo. So um, we're back on to uh, finger style, finger, finger picking playing. Uh, and again, obviously slide all the way through. Uh, I'm using a thumb pick but uh, you can just as easily just, just play with your, your normal thumb. Uh, you can use like sort of banjo uh, metal finger picks as well if you want. Uh, it gives it a bit more brightness. I'm also doing quite a lot of palm muting throughout here. So that's, that's something to, to have a look at. Um, sort of various, um, there's an early uh, finger style video which, which goes into all of this in a bit more detail if you want to brush up on any of that. But we'll just get straight into it. Um, so the thumb's largely playing this low string, uh, middle finger largely playing the high G, index largely playing the middle D. So we're straight into it, we've got a low G on its own, slide across fret 7 but only play the G strings, so don't, don't play the middle string, and then straight down to fret 5 and we do a pull off. Now, um, I did um, explain a little bit on about hammer-ons and pull-offs in, in, in the first uh, pentatonic video uh, in, in terms of how to play using a slide, so, so you, uh, you know, please check those out if you need to. Um, so we've got thumb on its own, together, fret seven, five, pull off, another thumb, and then I'm gonna do a 
just on the uh, D and high G strings, a little slide into fret three. So double pluck with my fingers there. Double pluck with my fingers on the open, open uh, thumb. A slide angle, so we're talking about this quite a lot, where you just select uh, the middle string and try not to angle too flat so you interfere and also don't sort of overshoot and, and, and catch catch this string. So the, the, the length of your slide is, is quite important. If you've got a slightly more stubby one, you'll probably have more joy um, doing all of this, particularly with these angles. So uh, right at the end, we've got a slight angle in. I'm playing that um, like a pull with my index and my thumb on the bass. And then finish off with a little strum. And when you strum, uh, use like sort of from from this join really not even the knuckle it's 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 just like a little nimble sort of flick like that because um, we will be doing some upstrokes later on so I'll just play that bar again fret seven pull off from five and then bass slide in on the top two play the top two again thumb pull and then strum. I'll do that again, so three, four. So it's got that particular rhythm to it. Now, this is actually uh, straight. So the first minor pentatonic uh, had a, a swung rhythm or a sort of blue shuffle. Uh, this one is straight, so um, when we uh, play faster notes that they're in um, even numbers, it's either one and two and or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or for those faster ones, you can sometimes count them one E and a, two E and a. So we've got half beat notes here. We've got four notes. So one, two, three, four. So one and one, two, three, four. Rings over and then slows down at the end. That strum. I should do that one more time. This is actually uh, the main sort of <coughs> foundation. This is the main basis of the, the, the whole of um, the first section. So it's quite good to get this first bar down. So we've got. Bar two is very, very similar. Instead of doing the, we just go up to fret 12, and I'm, I'm using um, just on the top two strings, not, not, not the low G. Uh, I'll do a, a little strum there, a little flick down, down strum in the same way. Just gives it a bit more energy. So the second bar is, Okay, and the first line, which is bars one and two. So just on the top two strings there. Okay. Uh, bar three, same as bar one. So, uh, but bar four is like a chord um, progression, so just from C down to B flat. <clears throat> and what we're doing is we're going to um, slide into the C and then I'm going to do a down up strum. So again, it's that sort of like there's your hinge moving from much, much further down your finger than normal. Um, so pull which is uh, fingers and thumb together, pull on all the strings, and then down, up, thumb, up, down. So pull, down, up, thumb, up, down. And I'll even do a lift off, a, a, a pull off, like a flick off, hammer, hammer, a pull off to the open strings. So it's down, up, thumb, up, down. 
and then straight back into the B flat fret three, but uh, pull again. And it's exactly the same rhythm. So we've got. So that's like the main um, groove really, um, so uh, I'm, I'm just going to play all that again. So this is uh, the first four bars. Up here, line two, same as bar one. Then chord, down, up, up, down, down, up, okay. And the, the second half of page one is almost exactly the same. Um, so bars one, two, and three are the same as bars five, six, and seven. Um, but then instead of going from C, B flat, we go from F down to B flat. So do a little pull into um, F fret 10. Down, up, thumb, up, down, pull off. And then into B flat, strum, C. So it's a bit slower at the end. We, we don't have the, the down and the ups. Uh, on, on the B flat and the C. So we've got F, down, up, thumb, up, down, pull off, thumb, strum, thumb, strum. Okay, so that's how you finish off all of section one. Ten. Okay. So that's the first half. Um, I would definitely uh, take your time. It's um, there's some funny sort of coordination things there. Some quite quite nice little licks, which um, uh, you know, as well as learning this demo, uh, you, you can you can put them into your own improvising or you know even your own like songwriting if you like coming up with your own ideas. But um, take your time. Make sure you get the timing right. Um, you know, get the coordination between the thumb and the fingers, all the pull-offs and, and all the rest of it. Uh, and then we're going to continue with the second half, which uh, is looking at angling in. So we did a little bit of that just um, at, at the end of the first bar, but here there's a lot of um, sort of like correct slide angle required because if we're a bit flat, as we mentioned in the last one, you'll, you'll catch string one and you can easily overshoot and hit the bass as well so it's quite quite a sort of precise hand position um, so starting on fret five so we're going thumb quite a lot of strumming here as well so it's thumb strum thumb up down up so a little flick off down thumb up down so it's actually quite similar to the strumming that we did at the beginning missing uh, a single uh, upstroke out so it's down up down up same on fret three thumb down thumb up down but don't do the pull off because we're doing a gradual slide right up to ten so that slide takes place over like half a beat so it's one, two, three, sorry, it's one, and two, and three, and four, and one. 
So I kind of try and arrive just as a hit with the thumb there. And one, like that. And then in this um, second bar, right up on the, the D, we've got... It's a little bit more busy, so we can put the, the um, upstroke back in. Down, up, thumb, up, down. And we, we can kind of slide up early to the um, fret 12, uh, and that, that can create the, the final fast note, the final um, quarter beat note. Down, up, up, down, slide, and then thumb, down, thumb, up, down, and lift off. So that second bar of, uh, so this is bars 9 and 10 on page 2, and um, uh, I'm just going to play bar 10. So it's the slide, we've arrived here, and it's down, up. off. So both bars sound a bit like this. And then um, the next line, um, the first bar is the same as, um, bar 11 is the same as bar 9. But then we've got a little fill here, so we're doing a pull, uh, so all three strings together, and then a pull off straight away. Thumb afterwards, just the fingers, pull off from fret three, middle string, thumb, hammer on, back to fret three again. Now all of these notes in combination, the thumb, fingers, hammer ons, pull offs, all creating even, it's kind of like in groups of threes, but it's like even all the way through. So it's together, pull off, thumb, pull off, thumb, hammer on, uh, and then, a, uh, sorry, after the hammer on, it's a slide back up. So it's together, pull off, thumb, pull off, thumb, hammer, and then, slide and the slide is, is the, the two notes are part of the rhythm so instead of like a grace note it's burdum so that the slide up's the same speed as the pull off of hammer on so and then after that just do uh, a bass and a strum stay on fret five and then thumb on the open let it ring over so we've got and then line three which is bars 13 and 14 same as uh, line one on page two so I'll just play um, Line two, so bars 11 and 12. And then the fill. And then it carries on. And then uh, right onto the bottom line, so we've got a longer fill this time. So we're uh, we're kind of coming down through the notes in the scale. So 10, 8, 5, 3. But we're doing that same um, kind of re repeating groups of three notes. So it's pull and a pull off. Thumb, uh, 8, thumb, 5, thumb, 3 slower uh, slide back up so we've got so all of those are going to again creating the um, 
the, the what you call the 16th notes, the, the quarter beat notes. So it's thumb, pull, off, thumb, pull, off, thumb, pull, off, thumb, angled slide in, and then just do a, a strum at the end. And then into B flat, whole whole chord, all, all of the strings. I'm just going to very quickly play through all of section two, which is page two. So, line two, fill. Line three. And then just to finish off, uh, we're going back to uh, like half of the first section again, so we know all of this. This is the same as line one. Line, the final line, that's the same riff, but then right at the end, ever so slightly different, C, pull off into B flat. So it's the same strumming on the C and then slower. So and then strum at the end. So it's thumb, fingers picked, strum on the open, C, sorry, picked together, down, up, up, down, open, thumb, pick, strum. Okay, so that is it. Um, yeah, I mean, in, in uh, like all, all songs, you know, any style, you get a lot of repetition. Um, you, you know, you don't want too much variation. So there is quite a lot of repetition in this, but it allows you to kind of sort of sit on the groove and then just look at putting little fills in. Uh, the second section's a bit more open, a bit less punchy, sort of floats around with the strings drone in. Uh, you can potentially even unmute the, um, <clears throat> the, the bass on the second section to get a bit of a contrast if you want. Um, just so that you're working with the tone a little bit as, as well as um, like the, the varied notes. But uh, yeah, that's it for uh, the minor pentatonic. Um, so as I said before, please um, check out our uh, website if you, if you like this lesson and you want to support the channel. Uh, there's another slightly more advanced major pentatonic on its way too. Uh, so look out for that one. So we look forward to seeing you here again soon on Coda Guitar.